Hey guys, what's going on? It's cold, but I am on the P&O Ventura, second largest cruise ship of their fleet, and I managed to find. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find a quiet spot on a ship this big. You'd think it would be easy. I thought. Do you know what? I, I, <laughs> I was supposed to start this vlog this morning and um, I have been the most disorganised I have been forever. I just normally I'm super organised. I am like OCD. I know what I'm packing. I've packed it a few days before. I've got this, I've got that. I know where everything is. <laughs> rubbish. Absolutely rubbish today and all week. It's been hectic. But we're finally on the ship. It's late. And I thought I'd start the vlog tonight because actually I, I wanted to start it because I needed to come outside. You don't get any phone signal in the cabins and um, obviously Roman's with us so the guys on the ship kindly gave us a steriliser and a bottle warmer um, which is great, no instructions. So I came outside to get a phone signal and download the, the user manuals from so now we can sterilise these bottles a lot easier and um, it's, it's really noisy here and um, hold on now we can sterilise these bottles a lot easier and uh, yeah so I downloaded the manuals which is super cool um, check out this view we have oh okay so oh look at that's better light so we boarded the ship at three o'clock great it's supposed to set sail at five um, Announcement comes on, uh, excuse me, this is an announcement from the captain. There's a problem with our engines. Great. So we were supposed to leave at 9, they got the top mechanics on it. Uh, 9 o'clock came, no, we're still sat here. Um, apparently now we're leaving at 11. Um, so it's really weird, we're still in Southampton, which is the hometown. Um, but it kind of feels like we're on holiday as well. Never had that before. But I tell you what check out this view this is um, Southampton where well, you can see all of Southampton you can we're kind of next to the docks it's cool man check check this out ready I'm walking I'm walking you look at so that over there is just all of Southampton and then as we come down we've got I think let me zoom in I think this is where they transport Zoom quicker. I think that's where they transport new cars. And then we've got the start of Southampton Water. And and and, and if you come with me, you can see. Maybe I can show you. The light's terrible. Over, way over here in the distance, way over there, is Hive Marina. And if you check out some of my drone videos and other things, you'll see that's where I fly from quite a lot. Um, so we're literally just across the water from our house. But, as of yet, we're still in Southampton. Um, bad news is we were supposed to be arriving in Cadiz in Spain in two days. Uh, yeah, not going to happen. Bummed about that. Apparently we're stopping somewhere else now. Oh, excuse me, we've got bad light again. I'm going to have fun colour grading this. Um, but, oh look, good light. Um, but apparently now we are stopping somewhere else. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, so. Um, I think, oh, my phone's just buzzed. The wife, Zoe's going to be like, where are you? You only went to get an instruction manual so oh man look at that view that is wicked eh look i can just get in the frame that looks super cool see even your own city can look so cool at night with the lights that is awesome so i better go back and show zoe how to use this steriliser hopefully roman's asleep because we are having a nightmare of him the past two nights but he is teething bless him um, 
only really unpacked and um, just sorted, sorted ourselves out and organised ourselves. Um, so we haven't really explored the ship too much. I'm going to hold the camera sideways because look at that, that is so cool. Um, so we haven't really explored the ship too much. So you guys can have a tour of it tomorrow, um, which will be the same vlog for you. So you don't have to wait. And I keep doing that, don't I? I keep merging these days. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. morning guys what a morning Zoe's in bed we got up went for breakfast late my fault and uh, Zoe's not found her sea legs so we had to get her some travel bands and <laughs> she's gone back to bed Roman's asleep and um, yeah it's crazy this morning the boat, I've never, like I said, I've never been on a cruise before, so I don't know what to expect. And the crew are just laughing at me when I say to them, is it supposed to be this rocky? And they just laugh. <laughs> so you'll find your sea legs. But um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's nice and sunny. It's a bit windy out here. But um, hopefully, hopefully soon, my, um, leg, my sea leg, I'll find my sea legs. Anyone seen them, my sea legs? Comment below, tell me if you've ever done a cruise. Let me know if it is like that all the time or if this is, I don't know if the captain's trying to make up some speed for the late delay, for the late departure last night. But um, let me let me show you, see if you can see the motion of the ocean. On a plus note, it is rather sunny out here. It's not quite warm enough yet. I think we're still in the English Channel somewhere, but if I hold this camera, let's see. I don't know if that picked any up because of the image stabilisation. Yeah, so I think I should take you guys on a little tour of the ship, eh? Um, it's windy out. But, well, I'm, so currently I'm stood at the back of the ship. And if I look down at the front, it literally goes... See if I can show you. Let me zoom in. I don't think the camera will pick it up with its image stabilisation, but it's crazy, man. It is absolutely crazy. I actually thought that these cruise ships would be like, just, you wouldn't even know you were on them, and that they would be so smooth and everything else. We're just going upstairs, and my tripod is all to cock, so you're getting a really weird angle with my face. So, while they're asleep, I'm just going to go and do a bit of exploring. And um, I think, oh yes, check this out. I saw this on the internet before we booked it. This is, there's no one in there. This is the old hit a golf ball on the top deck of a cruise ship malarkey. And you've got a giant net. So you stand here. stand there 
and then you just hit the golf ball straight into that net. You gotta have a go, right? Let's do it. Full disclosure, I have not hit a golf ball for about five years. Just took some practice swings. Maybe this bit won't make the cut. We'll find out. We hit the <laughs> we, we hit the target. Hey, that'll make some good B-roll. Let's do it. Side note, trying to hit a golf ball on a moving ship, I just lost my balance. Trying to hit a golf ball on a moving ship is incredibly difficult. I'm not even lying. This is fun though, right? This must be like what it's like to be a millionaire. Just cruising through the ocean with the sun blazing down on a little private golf enclosure. It's crazy. Oh, and I noticed there's no drivers in the iron rack. Can't think why. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll leave that to the professionals, I think. Man, being on a cruise ship, the view, look at that. That is just something else, right? I mean, that makes the uh, the motion of the ocean worth it. It is super cool. And now we're, I think, I'm on one of the highest. Well, I'm just if this video just drifts, and it's not me, it's the it's the ship. I really need to find my sea legs. Oh, there we go again. But I tell you, whoa, whoa, whoa. check out. That it really is pretty cool. I just feel so sorry for Zoe. She literally, we got in the lift from breakfast, and um, some chap just said to her, "You really don't look too good, love." And inside, I was, I was kind of laughing, but also felt sorry for her at the same time. Um, yeah, let's go see what else we can find, shall we? And we'll. Uh, We'll continue the talk.
I've always wanted to do that. Be like James Bond. But on a serious note. How cool do I look? How cool do I look, babe? I look smoking. That's one. I was a bit dubious about dressing up for these cruises because suits, tuxes, they do look smart. But personally, when I wear one, I feel like Mr. Stiff, Mr. Cardboard. I can't walk in them and I can't bend down. Even putting my shoes on and tying up my laces was a job. But anyway, you got to do it. And wow, hottie, look at you. My hands are shaking. I think I'm either still not found my sea legs and I'm a bit nauseous or I'm hungry but the tripod's just shaking and my hands are shaking but anyway look at you hottie what you think your wife's so hot you're shaking yeah that must be it and look at this little man show him show him Rhymes. hey how smart are you you're just missing one thing and that's your little bow tie but he has got one oh, and I've just messed my shirt up so anyway I know I said earlier that you'd get like a more of a tour of the ship, but that just didn't happen because today's just been a bit crazy. Everyone's feeling rough. The motion of the ocean is just making people feel nauseous. So we kind of just chilled out in the room this afternoon and a certain couple of people had some sleeps and I just did a bit of editing, didn't sleep. Um, but now it's dinner time. So in one of the next videos you will get a better tour of the ship i promise so you know what that means guys hit the like button smash the subscribe button 2018 style if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video guys